Well, hello folks, it's Mark back with another vinyl update. It's been a while. I've accumulated a few things along the way from various stores here around Cleveland, Ohio, as well as a couple stores in, in um, Columbus. I hit a Columbus record fair a few months back and also uh, used kids. I hit that store. But most of the finds I'm going to show you are, are from places from, from here around Cleveland and a couple from, you know, from online, a few things from online. Um, yeah, so, you know, hope everybody's doing well. I've been well, just been very busy. Been meaning to do a new video for a long time, and, and uh, every time I plan to, uh, something else happens, and I don't wind up doing it. So tonight I said, you know what? Bite the bullet, do it. So here we go. Hope everybody's well. Um, we're going to start with a, a few new items that I picked up. The new Ride album. It's fantastic. I'm sure a lot of you, if you're alternative or shoegaze music fans, have already picked this up. It's called The Weather Diaries. It's a double album and uh, pretty fantastic, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ride, and uh, this album did not disappoint. So many good songs on it. I'm still getting to know it, but I've given it about five or six spins so far, and boy, it, it just gets better and better. Uh, the same can also be said for Slow Dive. I'm sure uh, many of you have this. I've seen it shown quite a bit in the uh, vinyl community and online. Um, it's uh, simply called Slow Dive and their fourth album total. And uh, again, much like the ride, picks up where they left off. Actually seems to pick up more where um, uh, Suvlaki, the second album, uh, leaves off. It's less um, um, spare than, than Pygmalion, but it's still got elements of that in it. So if you're a fan of Slow Dive, pick this up. You won't be disappointed. And if you're a fan, a couple compilations here that are that are new. If you're a fan of psychedelia, you might want to check out the Reverb Conspiracy. This is the fourth volume. Reverb Conspiracy is a terrific double album set. It's a series, and it basically it's put out by the Fuzz Club label, fantastic record label. And what they do is go and scour the globe for the finest modern psychedelic music out there. Featured on here are some new groups I had never heard of, like Tao. Um, 10,000 Russos, Soft Walls, uh, Pretty Lightning, and then a couple I had heard of, like The Oscillation and The Orange Revival. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, The Reverb Conspiracy. There's the, the back of it. This is Volume 4. Get them. They tend to vanish pretty quickly. Pardon me while I have a glass of water. I seem to have something in my throat. Now, if you're a fan of jangly guitar pop of the REM, you know, mid eighties, college rock birds variety, you could uh, pick this up. It's called 12 string high, a new jingle jangle adventure. Fantastic, uh, uh, double album compilation. And it's been put out on you are the cosmos records. A little nod to uh, Chris Bell. And if you're a fan of big star or, you know, any of those jangly guitar groups, um, I'm sure I don't really have to describe, you know, if you like the birds, this is right up your alley. Again, it's bands from all over the globe. From the U.S., uh, bands I had heard of, like uh, the, the Young Sinclairs, who are fantastic. They're on here. Um, also, who else did I know? The Higher State. They're from the U.K. But there's bands on here from <clears throat> Sweden and uh, Australia, just all over the place. So if you're into that kind of thing, pick this up. You can get it from 13 O'Clock Records. Go to 13o'clockrecords.com and they'll have a copy there. The Primitives are back, picking up where they left off. Um, although they've been back for a while, they've actually put a couple albums out. This is their newest release, a 10-inch called New Thrills, and the lead track, I'll Trust the Wind, is among their best. If you're a fan of The Primitives, pick this up. Fantastic. And I believe it is on... No, it's on black vinyl. I thought it might be on color vinyl. I was thinking something else. But anyway, uh, love the primitives. I have everything they do, so could not not get this. And this is a, a new release. This actually came out in 20, 2009, but it's a really cool kind of psychedelic band called The Entrance Band, and this is their debut album. Um, it's a double. And I uh, found a copy of it relatively cheap and hardly unplayed in uh, the local exchange used record store here in Cleveland. So picked up a copy of that. Then a few used releases here. 
quite a few actually. I'm gonna spin through them pretty quickly. Thompson Twins, this is one called Make Believe. This is uh, from their second album, A Product Of. And, or no, is it from A Product Of? Hang on a minute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my facts here. Um, well, I don't have the album handy. I thought I had it handy, I could just reach to, but it's from one of their first two albums. They had two before they broke out with Lies and Love on Your Side in 1983. And this is one of their earlier 12 inches, and I'm looking for a date on it, can't find it. But it's, I think it's from 81 or 82. It's called Make Believe, really good song. And this is back when they were like a seven piece band before they slimmed down to a three piece. So they were a little more, um, little more left field during this time period. Band called Top. Uh, Liverpool band. This is one called Living on Cloud Nine Easy. This is from their one and only album, Emotion Lotion. Kind of got a Madchester vibe to it. So if you're into things like Happy Mondays or Stone Roses, this is definitely up your alley. Top. Check them out in their album, Emotion Lotion. Tracy was a protege of Paul Weller from the early 1980s. And this is a single she released called I Love You When You Sleep on Paul Weller's Respond label. She did a few releases on his label during that time period. Here's one that's been on my want list forever. This Mortal Coil. It's the uh, 16, days, 16 Days Gathering Dust EP. I have the 7-inch of this, which is uh, which has Song to the Siren and 16 Days Reprise on it. Um, but the 12-inch combines 16 Days with Gathering Dust, which are two old modern English songs. And they were uh, re-recorded featuring members of Modern English, but also with Elizabeth Fraser from Cocteau Twins on vocals. Fantastic mix. Been on my want list forever. Finally found a copy in good condition. This came out on 4 AD in 1983, and the song Song to the Siren is a Tim Buckley cover and featured on their first album called uh, It'll End in Tears. If you don't know it, look it up. It is stunning. Uh, song to the Siren by This Mortal Coil. But here it is, the 12-inch EP, long on my want list. I finally have it. Something else I've been wanting a while, but was never able to find an original. This came out on 4AD originally. Cupol, it's called Like This for Ages. And it's basically, uh, it's, it's two members of Wire, Bruce Gilbert and Graham Lewis, in a very experimental EP, originally on 4AD, but it's been re-released on the wonderful Dark Entries label. This came out just last year on Dark Entries. So um, if you're a fan of Wire and the more experimental aspects of Wire, things like Dome, Duet M.O., some of the offshoots of Wire. Check this out. Jasmine Minks, Creation Band. This is an album I never had by them from 1988 called Another Age. Good jangly pop there. Just Say Yeah. This is a compilation of indie bands from the UK from the late 80s, um, around 1987. This kind of documents the short-lived Grebo movement, which was um, kind of scruffy-looking English guys with sort of scruffy hair, scruffy clothes, playing very... Um, I don't know, ramshackle garage indie rock. So it's not jangly at all. It's very um, um, uh, in your face kind of uh, um, abrasive music. Bands like uh, Gay Bikers on Acid, um, Crazy Head, and The Bomb Party were bands that were uh, associated with that with that movement. Also, uh, Pop Will Eat Itself's early stuff was considered Grebo, as was another band. There's another band I'm not thinking of. The Bambi Slam kind of would have been in that in that vein as well. But this is a cool little compilation with some uh, exclusive tracks on it. Here's a band from Columbus called I. Very psychedelic, dreamy um, kind of music. Very much if you like Pink Floyd, get into I. And this is an album they did called Vision and Ageless Light. This is, I believe, their second album. Fantastic group. Don't know how often they tour or how far out they go as far as touring. But if you get a chance to see I and you're into psychedelic trippy kind of psychedelic music check out out i they're fantastic some good dub from sly and robbie this is called king tubby's dance hall dub middle east dub from sly and robbie and it's exactly what you think if you're into king tubby and old school dub check this out it's on clock tower records and it came on some really nifty vinyl look at that cool vinyl there very marble marble style vinyl i'm big fan of dub and if you are then this is an album that is should definitely be in your collection. I've been catch, kind of getting into Boomtown Rats again. I was really into them a long time ago and only had a couple of their albums ever, but um, always had the singles from this, Charmed Lives. Love that single. This is an album called Five Deep that they did in, I believe, 1982. Yeah, 1982. So it's good. I like them. I like Boomtown Rats. It's just a good, good new wave 
power pop. Probably the best way to describe that. If you're into XTC or um, I don't know how else to, to compare Boomtown Rats to. Um, very of the time, you know, um, I'm, I'm quite a fan. This is another album I've been passing up forever, but finally bit the bullet and bought Abacab by Genesis. I do like Genesis and um, already had all the singles from this, knew, knew, knew them quite well, grew up with them, but never had the full length album. So here it is, Abacab. Here's a post-punk group out of New Zealand called Phantom Fourth. This is a re-released album that has come out on the Dark Entries label, the same label I was showing earlier that had put out the Q-Paul record. And uh, Phantom Fourth uh, only did, I think, a couple of cassettes. So this, and, and, and a couple of vinyl pieces, this compiles most of what they put out. Um, Post-punk is the best way to describe them. This stuff all came out around 1982. So, guitar-based with some uh, synth flourishes in it. Hula, an industrial funk band out of Sheffield, England from the mid-1980s. This is the only thing I was ever lacking by them, A Thousand Hours. It was an album, it was a double album, one of them is, a, is an original album of original material. The next album is live. And it's a fantastic live record as well. So, you know, just back when it came out in 1986, I avoided it and just bought the 12 inches because I was only 16 back then. And I didn't have a lot of extra money to spend on double import albums. So um, this I used to see it around in the shops back in the 80s and then it vanished. Now, so it's kind of been on my mind that next time I saw it to get it. So here it is. If you're a fan of Cabaret Voltaire... Um, and but, but with more of a funk element to them, check this group out, Hula. They're fantastic. 400 Blows is another band I might compare them to, or 23 Skidoo. Um, really good, good stuff. Here's a record I've always liked, Generations of Love by Jesus Loves You. It's actually Boy George under a different name. This came out in 1990 and is um, very much of the time like a house music record. Um, yeah, nothing really much else to say about it. He actually did release a Jesus Loves You album over here in the U.S. in 1980 or 1990 called The Martyr Mantras, and that included this song, Generations of Love. I found this for a buck. San Etienne, Nothing Can Stop Us, the U.S. 12-inch, with a bunch of different mixes included on the U.S. release only. I had the U.K. 12-inch, but never had the U.S. version. So I found it for a buck, snagged it. Been on a Stranglers kick lately. I've only had their singles and their 80s albums. Didn't have any of their 70s releases. So it was time to start backtracking, and, and um, I have two more I need to get. But I did pick up um, The Men in Black, The Gospel According to The Men in Black. This dates back to, I believe, 1980, 1981. So never did have it. Now I finally do. Fantastic record. All of these Stranglers albums are great. I knew they would be. I've um, been passing them by for years, and finally just have been biting the bullet and, and getting them. This one, The Raven, comes from 1979, concludes the fantastic single Nuclear Device. That is a classic. Look that one up if you've never heard The Stranglers. Look up Nuclear Device. That's a great example of what their sound is like. Also, Don't Bring Harry, Duchess. What a fantastic record this is. Men in Black is great, too. Thrown Away is a fantastic track on that. And then I bought No More Heroes, which is just so great. <laughs> I mean, this album has so many good songs. Bring on the Nubiles, Dagenham Dave, Feel Like a Wog, English Towns, No More Heroes. This is just classic, classic Stranglers. If you, if you again, look any of those songs I just told you up on YouTube if you're not familiar with them. And boy, fantastic. And this is a, a I tried to get the English imports as well. Um, you know, just because I like the Stranglers a lot and one of the English imports. Um, a couple of uh, garage 60s comps. This one called Burgers. This is a bunch of 60s psych, uh, well, not really psych, but 60s garage bands out of uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it's a town I go to here and there to go record shopping. So it seemed like a good idea to pick this up. Volume 1, Burgers. I'll be on the lookout for Volume 2. If you're a fan of Nuggets and Pebbles, this is right up your alley. 60s Garage. And then more 60s Garage. This is from the Fantastic Teenage Shutdown series. I love getting uh, compilations on this. And this is called Things Been Bad, Six, 18, 18 slabs of mid-60s garage punk grunt. Fantastic stuff. I love stuff like this. So uh, Teenage Shutdown, if you bought all the nuggets and all the pebbles and rubble and you're looking to dive deeper, Teenage Shutdown. These were a buck each. I've always liked Swing Out Sister Manchester Trio. 
who uh, do kind of sophisticated pop. They had a hit over here with Breakout in 1987. This is the album that that was included on. It's Better to Travel includes the other singles, uh, Fooled by a, by a Smile and Twilight World and Surrender. Those were some other singles from it. And then I got their second album, Kaleidoscope World. So I found that for a buck as well. Um, I do. I, I, this is one of those groups I've always liked them, but only ever bought their singles. I never really considered their albums, so now I did. They were a buck each. All right, a few more to get through here. We're at 15 minutes. I don't want to go too long. The Farm, a uh, Liverpool band, but had a lot of Manchester kind of sound. If you like Happy Mondays, Stone Roses, um, that Charlatans, they're very much in that vein. A lot more dancey. And this is their debut album, uh, Spartacus. I believe it's their debut album. I know they, they released a lot of EPs prior. I'm trying right now to find... I have one of their earlier EPs in this pile here. Here it is. The Farm, Some People. This is an EP from 1985. So they, they actually <laughs> went back quite a ways. And this is a lot more guitar, guitar and uh, indie rock kind of um, sounding. This is a lot more dance, Spartacus, and included the singles Groovy Train and All Together Now. If you want to get a glimpse of what they're like, look, look those up. This came with an a, a extra 12-inch, which had six remixes. Um, from the album as well. Fantastic Irish group, The Adventures, and this is uh, another silent day. I had the 12 inch or the 7 inch of this, never had the 12 inch. Wanted to get the extended version. And um, good jangly guitar pop, um, very slick, mid 1980s, um, and great harmonies as well. They, they put out about three to four albums before um, calling it quits. The Adventures, this comes from their first album, Another Silent Day. Um, I ain't talking about dub. This is a 12-inch uh, from Apollo 440, which is a guy named Noko, who used to be one half of Luxuria. Um, that was a duo featuring Howard DeVoto, ex of Magazine and the Buzzcocks. You know, they did a couple of albums together in the late 1980s as Luxuria, and then he broke off on his own. Howard DeVoto kind of went into retirement for a little while in the 90s, and he did Apollo 440. And this is a fantastic take on Van Halen's Ain't Talking About Love. It samples that, but puts it to a a dub and drum and bass kind of vibe. A few more here. Dub Sex, uh, I believe a Manchester band, kind of an indie pop band from the late 1980s, a 12 inch called The Underneath. Good stuff there, Dub Sex. They're not very dubby at all. <laughs> They're more just guitar rock. Gwen Guthrie, this is her uh, dance 12 inch, her cover of The Beatles' Ticket to Ride. And the reason I got it was uh, because I like her voice, but also it's produced by Sly and Robbie, whose record I showed earlier and also remixed by Larry Levan, a fantastic house dance remixer from the mid-1980s. And he, uh, anything he puts his name to, I'll pick up. Funkopolitan, UK funk band, a lot like Level 42 or uh, Light of the World, Shack Attack. I'm trying to think of some of the other Brit funk bands of, of that ilk. Um, just good dance funk from the mid-1980s, actually early 1980s. Scars, Scottish band, and uh, this is an album called Author, Author, Scottish post-punk band. This is the only album they did in 1980, and it came out on the pre-label. actually came out in 1981. If you want to get a, a gist of what the Scars are like, look up uh, All About You. That's a really good song, and it's featured on this album. A um, few more things here. Richard Jobson from The Skids. This is an album he did of spoken word material with Virginia Astley. Not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's still pretty decent. Um, pastoral, mellow, I don't know, a lot of piano with him kind of speaking over it. If you're a fan of the skids and Richard Jobson, pick it up. A couple U.S. Depeche Mode 12 inches that I never had. Strange Love, I always wanted to get the, uh, the um, Hijack remix of this, as well as Nothing, the Zip Hop mix. So this is kind of finishing off... Um, some of my 80s Depeche Mode remixes that I, that I never had. Also, the U.S. version of It's Called a Heart has the emotional mix and the emotional dub, which I never had. So found these both real cheap, so went ahead and picked them up. Also, I'm a huge Dead or Alive fan. I had this as a 12-inch. Uh, it's called What I Want. This comes from their first album, Sophisticated Boom Boom. And uh, I had this as a, a factory sleeve 12-inch, not with the picture sleeve. So I found this for a buck. I couldn't resist. It's a U.S. release. Pete Burns right there on the cover. What I want. A lot more uh, funk based than uh, you spin me around like a record that you might be more familiar with. ACDC Highway to Hell. 
I had to pick up a copy of this. My sister had the eight track. I wore it out <laughs> back when I was about 10 years old. Love this album, always have, but um, finally bit the bullet and bought the album, Highway to Hell. A um, couple more things here that I want to show. Pebbles, I was showing those uh, garage comps earlier. Here's a Pebbles volume I never had, volume 14. If you're into garage rock from the 1960s, look no further than the, the, the Pebbles collection. Found a copy of this for about $12. Axis Bold as Love by Jimi Hendrix, or the reissue of it. Sony Legacy came in a nice gatefold and was in pristine shape. Hardly even got played. So for 12 bucks, had to grab a copy. I always wanted this and uh, finally, finally grabbed a copy. I was talking about Howard DeVoto earlier from Magazine and also Luxuria and uh, the Buzzcocks. We had a solo career in the mid 1980s and did one solo album. This is a 12 inch from it, Cold Imagination. I always like the sleeve to this. Found this for a buck and grabbed it. A couple all about Eve 12 inches I grabbed online. Strange Way. This came in a nice little uh, die cut sleeve. Let's see how it, how it goes. It's a four track 12 inch featuring Marty Wilson Piper of the Church on guitar. And then this is a 12 inch called Wild Hearted Woman from them. This is a, a slightly earlier one. Um, all about Eve, very much like if you like The Mission or Sisters of Mercy. Um, more like the mission very kind of pretty goth pop rock from the late 1980s kikigaku moyo great uh, psychedelic band from japan caught them live a little while ago this is a reissue of their first ep fantastic pastoral psychedelic um trippy dreamy music it's fantastic i can't recommend these people enough if you're into pink floyd or um i don't know they use a lot of sitars in their music um, not that Pink Floyd do, but it's got that vibe. Uh, it's just very mellow, sitars, but they rock out sometimes. Look them up. Kikigaku Moyo. Here's how you actually spell their name. Kikigaku Moyo. Look this up. The album is called... It's self-titled. It's self-titled. The Fix. Phantoms. Found a copy of this pretty cheap. Went ahead and picked up a copy. Kind of been... Um, band I kind of ignored during the mid-1980s. And uh, or the early 1980s. I mean, I liked their singles, but never really picked up their albums. So now I'm finally getting around to that. Liverpool band called Freeze Frame, kind of a dance pop outfit on the Inevitable label, the same label that put out the first Dead or Alive and Wah records. Um, and China Crisis as well had early releases on Inevitable. So I picked this up online. It looked interesting. It was all right. If you like uh, early 80s new wave, there you go. Some late 70s disco from Brainstorm. This is their album from 1976 and it features the song Lovin' is really my game a fantastic four to the floor disco stomper brainstorm big fan of them and then finally Eurythmics Shame 12 inch a song I really liked from their album Savage from 1987 this is a fantastic 12 inch and then Berlin Dancing in Berlin always liked that song found this real cheap couldn't pass it up so there you go uh, there's a few more releases but you know what at 23 minutes we're we're maxing out here. So um, hope you enjoyed the the, 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 the finds I was showing. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have any questions about anything, leave a comment. I will uh, answer them um, sooner rather than later. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I will post another video very soon. Got some more stuff to show you that uh, I just can't quite fit into this video. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope the summer's treating you fine. And uh, keep spinning that vinyl and um, subscribe. If you haven't already, please do. All right, talk to you soon.